Well, hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I, we are stealing some moments in our children's rooms, which is highly unusual for us because <laughs> as your kids get bigger, they typically don't want you in their rooms. At all. <laughs> But thankfully, ours have grown up with a designer in the house, and so when mom comes knocking, she's carrying vases and flowers, they're like, come on in. I'll pack up the Xbox and go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> well, today we are in our son Parker's room, who just turned 17, and I know, I can't even think about it. It freaks me out just a little bit still. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he's amazing. He. Uh -huh. He kid. loves cars, he loves the beach, he loves fashion. So we made his room over a couple times actually for him. Yeah. He's had kind of a couple living situations with his brother. Originally they were sharing in the other room, they've shared in this room. Yeah. This room <laughs> has been an office, this room has been a bedroom, this room has gone through many transformations. And I think that that's kind of how it is, especially when your kids are right in the middle of a transitional period. Yeah. They he became a teenager here, and then he you know he's growing up, and he doesn't want to share anymore with his brother. So, it's I think it's okay. I think it's okay when your rooms turn into transition. And <laughs> luckily for me, I kind of love it because I'm like, oh, I get to do the room again. I know yes. it's perfect. <laughs> so it's really fun. Um, when we originally bought the house, it was a bedroom. And it was a really unfortunate yellow color. It was just Ooh, not, it, was rough. it just wasn't it was really rough. a nice color. There's a lot of beiges and colors from the 90s that I would still use, but that was not one of them. No, no, no. <laughs> it was just. RIP. Yeah, yeah, bye. So um, today we're gonna take you on a full tour of the space. It's gone through an extreme makeover. And we are at the holidays, so this little beachy inspired room has a little bit of a holiday overlay on it. But then stay tuned, make sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna keep showing you these rooms as we get them ready for the upcoming seasons. Yeah, which is perfect timing because we just got the floors done this summer. Yay, yes. they look amazing after <laughs> having carpet up here for so long. I think it was the original carpet actually. It so that was the original. Was 20 something years old. Yes. It was time to say goodbye. It was in pretty good shape for being around for that long, but uh. <laughs> yeah, so we've been in a holding pattern like so many of you where you're buying stuff and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and we're slowly getting everything in, but it was Christmas. The rooms are beautiful. We had to show you. Yes, yeah, so we didn't want to wait any longer. So we wanted to show it to you even though it is dressed for the holidays. We hope that you'll see a lot of the styling hacks that we've used and just see some of the things that we've done and grab some ideas. We will make sure to share any of the items that we share with you in the video. We'll put them down in the show notes. And are you gonna create one of those PDFs yes, again? Yes, we'll do a PDF. We'll put it on like it to know it. If it, We'll put it everywhere we can <laughs> to help you because the, we, there's so many fun things in here that he absolutely loves. Yeah, so without further ado, let's give him a full tour. Yeah. The first thing that we did after getting those floors refinished, which by the way, have we even talked about how amazing these floors are? I mean. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we've been waiting to reveal these rooms since August. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. went on vacation and they came, we came back they to came the floors. They came and did it while we were on vacation. They put down these hardwood floors that replicated the look of our authentic hardwoods and they just nailed the color. They, I mean, I did help pick the color, but <laughs> since that is what I kind of do, <laughs> but they really did such an amazing job. We're so pleased and it really transformed just how elevated I think that the upstairs feels overall, don't you? Yeah, yeah before it kind of felt like, yeah, like we'd put so much into the ground floor and then yeah. this floor was like, oh, now this floor is like, it, this, it's amazing. The yeah. kids feel so pampered and they run to their rooms when we get home. They love them. Yeah, I'm trying to run away from Probably us. Probably maybe that's what it is. <laughs> no more pictures. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting though because this room is connect. These two, the two bedrooms connect. The boys' bedrooms connect to each other with the bathroom in between them. And I've been trying to get a contractor. I've had three guys come out and zero estimates. <laughs> they they just literally never send me anything back. So we've been trying to get their bathroom redone. We did have them just switch, take the carpet out and put down just a nice little tile yeah, yeah. in there. Think about that. Carpet in the bathroom with two boys. Yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah, mm, it yeah. was disgusting. So we had them take that bit out, but our goal was just to simply put a little like band-aid on it for the moment and then we were going to do a full renovation so that hopefully will be coming in this new year if we can actually get somebody to come out and yeah. do the work but they do know? have a jack and joe bathroom and so jack and joe that's like, fun like, <laughs> i've never heard that before i just made it up because it's two boys sharing the bathroom so jack and joe i like it <laughs> 
I like it. I'm going to have some more coffee. Cheers to that. To Jack and Joe. I like it. Well, either way, that bathroom has had just a little mini makeover on it. We did paint it yeah. white. It does connect the rooms and it's fun because the rug that we found at Target literally has the beige of Parker's room yeah. and the that blue gray from Landon's. And so we've kind of connected the two so that it feels like there's some beach in there. There's some Copenhagen. They have some nice things in there. I love the little soap pump in that bathroom. It's from from Target actually. Oh yeah, yeah. But it comes in that really cool container and it looks really nice with the colognes and you know, just the little tray and. And it's so funny because our boys collect soap pumps. Like she collects blankets apparently. So we opened up the, the drawer earlier to organize it. And we're like, oh my gosh. 10, 10 of them. They want one for every season <laughs> every and apparently season. their sister's been buying them for them. So. She's enabling them. Yeah, she's totally enabling that. And we just weren't even paying attention. So yeah, for now they've got the gold one, but I'm sure it will change. <laughs> we'll grab a seasonal one next. But uh, yeah, so in, but back to this bedroom, he really doesn't have a huge space. So I really had to measure and measure and measure. The one thing that we did was that we took the door off the closet, which for any other kid <laughs> would not work. But Parker's a neat freak, and he really likes to take care of his clothes. He's really into fashion. He, he keeps loves his nice shoes, shoes in the boxes, the whole thing. He's so organized like that, and yes. rarely has a mess anywhere. Yeah, so we, we took the door off, and what that did is it enabled us to be able to get a queen size bed into this room. It just, it, we weren't going to be able to get a desk, a dresser, and a bed any other way into the space without having to, you know, scoot around things. Yeah, and we, because we started redoing this room during the pandemic when he was homeschooled. And so he needed a space yeah. to be able to do his schooling virtually. Plus then he needed a place for Xbox and, and he's a growing boy, so he needed a larger bed. So it was, yeah. you had a big challenge on this one. Yeah, but you know, we were able to measure it all out and we double checked everything. And without that door swinging there, we we're able to get the two side tables in and I did upgrade those. I went to Restoration Hardware. You know, the teen section of Restoration Hardware isn't as expensive. So I splurged and got the dressers and the side tables. And the reason why is that when I was a kid, my parents gave us a bed. They gave us a full set, the bedroom set. They gave us nightstands, the bed, and the dresser. And we had that when we first got married. Oh my gosh, my you're right. My sister still has hers, like for years. This was like the thing that you take with you. And I loved that tradition. So that's why we did invest a little bit more. Article sent us this bed and it's been incredible. Oh, it's been incredible. And, and where did the mattress? And, needle and thread. Oh my gosh. The mattress is amazing. We it's, all come up here to like we'll plop in the bed and go to play Xbox and then none of us want to leave. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. Of course, we've got it totally decked out with really, really cozy. I wanted to feel, I wanted to feel cozy for winter, but I also wanted it to have like a raw natural feel. So not too bohemian, cause I would say my style isn't necessarily too boho and neither is neither Parker. Neither is his, no. He does, he's funny. He, he likes the beach, but he still wants things to be kind of structured. He wants to buy a Tommy Bahama shirt versus like something uber, like, like super, boho. super boho. Yeah. He wants yeah. a little dressy. He'll wear the straw hat. He's hilarious. He I just love loves it. it. So he's almost more of like an old school Florida, like the elevated type of. Yeah. He likes it. He loves architecture. He's talking yes. about being an architect. So we try to find that balance. He's got some structure with the bedding. It's, I love the color. That, that oh, creamy, yeah. like caramel kind of color. We've got that really great brown pillow that we found at Target. All the bedding actually at the moment is from Target. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really great. They've got some really good lines. I'll leave all the links down below and in that PDF for you guys. But I had splurged on the side tables. I saved on the lamps. Those were from Target as well. He does have a couple really like nice handmade vases. And then I gave him one of the lava rocks because oh, this... he likes fragrance and yeah. he likes Hawaii. Yeah, so, those lamps are stunning. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I saw the photos, the first photos you leaked out of the room. It was like, mm. oh, they're stunning. They're mm. so cool. And they just, there's so much texture to them because they're matte and they're like, yeah. oh, and they I feel think like lava rock. When you put that, that's what I wanted. I yeah, they feel, feel like lava rock. And I was going to DIY. I originally bought them in white and I was going to DIY them to give it that old kind of look to them. And then they came out with them in black. So 
it saved me some time. I hadn't taken the tags off the white ones yet. I was so. gonna fly to a volcano and actually pull back rock and then make the lamp myself. That's perfect. We, we have the lava rock little thing. <laughs> this is what we're talking about, the little lava rocks. Oh my gosh. So this is an element that I really wanted to include in his room. I love natural iron like this. It really just has that sort of raw, sophisticated feel to it. This is from um, Madeleine, I think is how you say the name of it. It's a French brand. Oh, oh I've got the amethyst in this one. Well, there we go. Okay, well, I, I didn't do that on purpose. I'll have oh. to grab the lava rocks. That's the one I wanted up here that for him. That's so good. But yeah, it's really great because the rocks inside, you use the fragrance and you pour essential oils over the top of it and it keeps that fragrance in there so you can literally just open it like this. And then they've got them in the amethyst rocks like this or the lava rock. And they're really extraordinary. I think at the holidays, this is the time of year when you want to treat somebody to something that maybe they wouldn't normally buy for themselves. This is it because these are truly exquisite. We have two of them. We have the amethyst and the lava and I, I just love them. I would love more. I would too. I just, I love the container that it I comes it. in and everything about it. They're just beautiful. So the Figue Noir and the other one I think is the, is it the mint? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We'll so leave good. links. They're yeah. fabulous. Yeah. They're wonderful. Makes you know this what? room smell good and I don't have to worry about having a candle in here. Oh yeah. And with kids. Yeah. So that's huge. Mm -hmm. One of the things I love that you did in here is we've talked before about doing themes and not making stuff so themey, mm -hmm. but by bringing in all these textures, Yeah. there's so many things with textures, the baskets, the, the vases, the, all the, the bedding, there's so much there to I touch. I did wood. Yeah. I that it do really a lot of wood does, furniture. <laughs> it feels, it has that kind of beachy feel without it being yeah. like beach, beach, beach. That's, and I did actually paint the, the paintings for this space as well. I know, they're beautiful. Well, if you're interested, I'll leave the link for the video where I feature how I painted those. Um, but I think it just, it was soothing for him, but he still likes to have a little punch of black as yeah. well. So we brought that in through the mirror. We brought that in through the lamps. Through the, the bench. The, the bench that we're sitting on yeah. with the leather. It's amazing. And it's all sort of balanced out with just this sort of softness, the materials that are the linen uh, bedding, softness of the throw and that knobbiness. I think that that just makes it feel, he feels like it's cool. He feels like it's grown up, but then it's, it's cozy. Yeah. And it's masculine, but like it's the, it's, you match the design to him like a thousand percent. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. He seems to really like he it. He loves it. We did give him the overhead light as well that gave him a little bit more of that black and it, it's just you need some modernness I think that when for me at least I don't like for something to be I don't want it to feel themed so I really strike the balance I think I'm always trying to at least strike the balance yeah. between he wants something that feels beachy and boho but I don't want it to feel overly themed because it just always feels like fake in well, a way well especially when the, like none of the rest park. of our house is yeah. yeah it just feels off to me when it's like that I'm I see myself doing that in other parts of the house. If it gets too far down the road on one style, I'm like, hmm, like now it feels too contrived. Yeah. So. Also love that you brought the black in with this desk, which is such an amazing find for this really unique space. Yeah, I think I got that off Amazon, didn't I? I think so. I think so. They had one, they have these, this style on Wayfair and Amazon. I think this one ended up being from Amazon. I liked the fact that it had the shelves above, so we were able to get his computer in here. Yeah. We could get his desk chair in here, but then he's got space for his speaker and um, he's got his Vitruvi. He loves oh, to have his scents in here. Loves it. And this little design has the little basket hanging on it so he can actually store his essential oils in yeah. there. So he has ones that smell like Pirates of the Caribbean. And, and Polynesian Resort, all yeah. his little favorites. Yeah, so he his room definitely has that sort of smell. <laughs> has that sort of coconut smell. Yeah, it does. It's like the beach all the time. That was my car in high school. Oh, you <laughs> I had air fresheners all the time smelling coconuts. <laughs> well, there you go. The so, ladies love them. The uh, coconut does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, we've loaded him up with some cute decor items, just some things that kind of convey that sort of softness. Where did the artwork come from? I don't remember. That's actually from Etsy. We didn't spend necessarily a ton of money on, on the accessories and things. We, we try to find the balance. I think it's nice if you're, you are doing a room for a child or if you're doing it for yourself, even invest in the stuff that you're going to sleep on, invest in the stuff that you're going to be using constantly. Mm -hmm. Every time you open the drawer, think about how much wear and tear that gets. Whereas a lot of your decor items, 
they're gonna be sitting. So we, we try to find the balance. The linen curtains in here are from Target and they just give it a little bit of softness, I think, to the room. Yeah, it's nice. He, he likes it because it does diffuse the light, but he can still sleep in in the morning. So it's enough <laughs> for him. It's perfect. Yeah, so I think it's really fun. To be able to put a room together like this, it doesn't feel childish to me. It doesn't feel necessarily like a teenage boy's room, but this is what he wanted. He wanted a, a room that felt like this and- He literally proved every step of it. You mood boarded it. You did yes. like the, the inspiration shots. You did the everything and he's like, yes, yes, yes. So yeah. you did exactly what he wanted. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun to see their personalities, the way that Landon's was so dark and the, the things that he wanted and that mountain feel. And then we've got a little bit of this beachy vibe. So next up, we're gonna go to our daughter's room and we actually haven't spent so much time in there lately because she's usually holed up studying for college and stuff. So yeah, no, she's such a good student and she, she actually is. focuses and does it. So we don't wanna mess yeah. with that. Yeah. Don't mess with it. So we're gonna kick her out momentarily and Louie cause he's usually in there with her. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lounging on her fur throw on bed. <laughs> so it's quite the life. So we hope that you'll hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that bedroom as well. And hers is, very sophisticated. It's very it's beautiful. Hers is very, it's loaded with like, just it's very chic and modern. And I know it's, it's, I think you guys are really going to like it. It's beautiful. We had a lot. I had a lot of fun yeah, You did have a lot <laughs> pulling of fun. that room together for her. So make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up to let us know that you enjoyed this room and check out down below for all the details of anything that was in the space. If you're, you're trying to find that. Cause a lot of times you guys will ask us, Hey, where's the link for this? How, where do I find that? It's always down in the description down below. And we have lots of fun coming up after this because literally as soon as we're done with Haley's room, we take the camera downstairs. Yes. And guys, we have so much fun stuff down there. Family room, the dining room, the kitchen, all, there's so much. I'm still waiting on stuff for our own bedrooms. So that might be the last one. I know, we're holding out. We're the like, stuff come arrive. on, I hope it'll come in so we can finish the whole room the way that we envisioned. But if not, we're just gonna show you how it is because that's life at the moment. and. It's okay. Well, well, that's okay. Cause then when none of the other stuff comes in, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for stopping in. Cheers, you guys. Have a great day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. This is fun. It is fun. These, we should give these to Parker. These match his room. They do match They his have room. that sort of like organic modern feel to them. Yeah. I love these. These are awesome. Of this coffee. I know. Do you know what I don't hear right now? What? Noise. I know. We should be doing other things than home tours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're home alone. But I know. It's the first time in like two years. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. Like the light on you right now is stunning. Oh. And you have like this golden thing already going on. Oh, yes. You do. <laughs> hey, goddess. <laughs> we must come and lay our coffee at your feet. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs>